Hello and welcome to my vlog number 10. So let me introduce myself. Who am I? My name is Alexander Arlovsky. I am a freelancer and stockholder of Arlovsky Consulting GBR. What kind of services do, do I provide in my company? Uh, we're developing software for the clients. We're helping them to improve the quality of the software and we help to analyze the requirements of the software and the needs of the company. So, and I provide help to people who want to get hired in German companies, so feel free to contact me. This is for, for my introduction. And now I want to show you my current learning progress of Unity 3D and especially of learning of PEF finding stuff now let me quickly explain what you're seeing here the assets were provided by the unity and the code for the moving of the object too but how it actually works uh, unity 3d have a special AI library for the path finding so basically I just need to provide a script which included in this game object and then it just uh, gets the location of the object and giving this data which I provide through the input of mouse so it's able to calculate the direction where this object must be moved and it's moved and if you think like it was many 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 years ago many game developers kind of struggled with writing own finding algorithms but you don't need to do that in unity because it's almost out of the box without any big complication it's pretty straightforward I must say so this is one scene which I want to, to present you today and the another one which I have got from the unity this is following scene now you have moving objects and now the idea is to jump. Now let me click that this ball should move to the platform. And as I said earlier, it's all out of the box. This is all what you get from the Unity. So it basically can jump. And jump is bidirectional, so you basically can have bidirectional jump. And only code which you need to provide is like get current location and uh, provide method call for the mouse input and that's it you don't need to do maybe more work if you need something special but like for, for the steering of the object it's all obvious and when you think uh, how the default unity 3d library behaves when it's have obstacles moving obstacles so let me show you uh, so it try all the best not to hit but it can hit still go through ah uh, did mention so if you think about like I don't know gates which you need to pass through maybe some adjustments needed because as I said earlier, it's what you get in Unity. It's all from from default library, but basically that is that is it. And I must say thanks for the Unity to giving such opportunity to learn from straight from the developers how it all works. But it wasn't big deal. I mean, not big job on on the user side. Uh, I I can't even imagine how it, how many working hours it took for people who actually implemented the pathfinding uh, library and here it goes unity 3d ai for the pathfinding thank you